Three, two, one, go. All right, so let's do one of those cool sketches. Um, let's see if I can do this as a beginner tutorial. It's a little involved, but I think that it might it might work. So first, let's bring in the image. So let's go here. Bring in the image. Tap here. Import. Photos. And let's do this little guy. Add. That's, that's huge. So let's go to transform. We'll make it a little smaller. Put them there. All right, that's good. I like to change this to matte cap, matte cap, matte cap. It's so much harder to say. I thought it was matte cap for years. I first learned Nomad in 2021, so not that many years, but you know. So matte cap, I like to use this one. You can tap on it. I like to use this. It's just easier to see. Uh, and you probably have a sphere like this, so uh, go into here, go into your scene menu and delete it. So just delete it and add a new one. That way the new one is much smaller than the old one. The original one, not mine, but on yours, the original one is like so big. So I think this will be the head. So we're going to always make sure that we're in the front by tapping this little front thing here. See? That way we know we're looking at the front of the mesh. This is our mesh. This is our clay. This is our 3D object. This is our sculpt. But right now it's just a sphere. But it's actually this little guy's head. So let's go in here, top the three dots, and we'll rename it head. And that's the first one down. We're doing well. All right, so um we can validate this one so we have a head so we can clone it and let's rename this one hood we'll make it a little bigger with the gizmo here we'll just use this little orange ring to make it a little bit bigger like so and then we need to stretch out stretch this out a little bit and we can actually do that now. Let's use move. Let's just go crazy. We'll use the move tool. We'll, we'll bring the radius up a little bit. Wait, how big is this? If I hit home. I just feel like the move tool is quite small. Let me just, let me check something out. You don't have to really. Oh, I never actually looked at this before. Uh, pressure, alpha, fall off. Okay. Hmm. It just feels quite small to me. I'm not sure why. I'm a little bit confused. Is it these? Oh, it's those. That's weird. So, I guess, yeah, be careful. World space radius and share radius. I was messing around with some stuff. I think I actually turned these on, but I don't, I don't like them on. What about drag? Are they on for drag? They're not. Okay, so maybe I was messing around with something. Disregard all that. Uh, move tool. You can go here, just make sure that these are not checked because then you will be probably more confused than me. So we'll use the move tool. Well, the radius doesn't need to be that big because now we're back in business. So symmetry's on, symmetry's on. See this red line? That's because if you go in here, this is the symmetry and you can go down and you can turn show line on. It's very useful. You can see your symmetry line, one side, the other side. And if it's dark like this, or anytime you use a tool and it changes the color, then you have stroke painting on, which means it uses the tool, but it also paints, even in matte cap. So you just go here, boom, and uncheck that, and then you're good. All right, let's make it actually a little bit bigger, the radius of the move tool. So we need to move this around so it's like nice and like coming out both those sides.
I think that's good. I like that. Maybe it's, I mean, it's a little more round, but you can make it as round or as not round as you want. But let's turn it to its side because it's always, you always have to make sure that the, the side looks good too. So this is where you kind of make it up because it doesn't exist in the real world, or I should say in the, the world of what's going on on my iPad, it doesn't exist. So I'm just kind of thinking of how, how would a hood sort of be? A hood would kind of come down a little bit. This part might come up a little bit, or forward, I should say. So maybe something like that. So it looks good, it looks like a hood. Maybe we'll bring this up a little bit. We'll tap the front again, and just make sure that the shapes look, look good on, from the front one last time. I think they look good. Not bad. We're doing we're doing good so far. Oh, there's one thing that I like to do on the top. See how it kind of comes out? I like to sort of um, just open this up a little bit so that the hood isn't so pointy in the back. That way the hood is more hood-like. I'll even pull out like on the bottom here. Okay, it's not bad. But you know, I get kinda I get kinda crazy with it. But I think that's I think that's pretty good for now. I might adjust it later, but you'll be fine. Alright, so let's do his little he's got a little body, a little pudgy body, so we'll just add a sphere. Easy to add things. You just go here, add, and then you have all these little shapes. Um, we'll deal with it. We'll probably put in a mirror later. Um, I'm not even going to go into it because it can be kind of confusing, but we'll deal with that in a second. But right now, we just have the body, and that's called the sphere. You can't see it because it's like inside this, you know? So, like, if I was to solo it, then you can see it. But right now, it's inside. So, we'll just hit the gizmo, we'll bring it down. Like so, and the hood's pretty big. His body is not that big. He's got a little cute little body, so it might be something like that. Maybe something like that. And he also has. Let's go ahead and validate that. And since we've got, let's go. Let's make sure that it's named correctly so we'll name this body and then we'll add another sphere we'll move it down over and then we'll shrink it and this can be one of the arms so let's so this can be kind of kind of tricky you know doing like arms and stuff so I'm not even going to, um, actually, you know what, let's mirror it. So when you hit mirror, it shows up on the other side of the mirror. This mirror is the mirror of the whole world, the whole project, the world center. World center, which is like where a shape, like, like the origin of a shape. Like if I add, if I add a box, this is world center. So if you were to split the screen, this would be the center line. Uh, so, you know, you can move it here. Well, it's in a... That makes it more confusing. When you add a mirror, you can add more shapes inside of a mirror, and then they act mirrored. But you can take them out, and then they don't act mirrored. Like this. So what happened was I made that square, and it went into the other mirror. Therefore, making what I was trying to explain way more complicated than it had to be. But you can give it its own mirror, and then it's back. Or you can take it off. But essentially, the center line is here, so you can move it, and that's the center, and you can kind of move it around. But it's very useful, because characters usually have two eyes, two arms, two legs, two hip bones, you know, things like that. So anything you do, mirroring is very, very useful. 
So let's just get rid of these mirrors because we don't need a box in there. I was just kind of showing you guys what's up. So let's go back to these things. So let's make them a little bit bigger. And let's go ahead and validate them. And let's use move tool and let's sort of stretch them out. Yeah, let's just stretch them. Maybe something like that is nice. So this is kind of a crude sketch or a stretch, a crude sketch, but I think that's fine. So I'll just move this into the body around where it would be. Maybe we'll, yeah, maybe it is towards the back a little bit. Maybe it's down more and in the body a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna take it off of snap. Snap is like, if I wanted to move it like 90 degrees, move something like 90 degrees, then snap is handy, but now let's just tap and take it off. Yours probably wasn't triggered, but mine was. Okay, so there we go. Cute little hands. I think that works well. So we have the ears, which are also mirrored. These things, the eyes, every, a lot of this is going to be mirrored. So let's, let me do a quick save because I don't have auto save on. And this mirror, I'm going to name it arm. Arms. I'm going to name this arms too. So we might validate this whole like mirror thing and that will just make both arms one particular piece, but I'm not going to do it yet. So this will be arms. And uh, let's add another sphere. So we'll move it down. And this can be one of his legs. And let's stretch it. Let's use that blue sphere and stretch it. And let's give it its, um, its own mirror. So right now it's in this mirror. I'm going to take this and bring it out. That way it can give it its own mirror. And I'm going to name this legs before I forget what it is. Legs, boom. And these are going to be legs. Just so there's no confusion. I get few, I get confused easily. So, but I've learned that's what I need to do to mitigate that. So now I'm just going to try to move it around to sort of, <clears throat> excuse me, sort of, my throat never fails. It's trying to get me, but. So I want to try to mimic this. And it's actually like... It's actually like a bend, you know? Like, I'm not sure how actually I wanted to. I could do it with the tube tool, but I don't, I don't really, I'm not really sure the best way to do it. Maybe let's stretch it that way. Yeah. So now it's like stretched. I, th I feel like it'll just look like, it'll look like what we need it to look like. So let's bring it down. The, the arms are a little behind it, so that works. This can be like his little butt area. And we can even like kind of make it more buttish. That is a word, by the way. Whoops. Oh, I kind of lost it. Let's go back to the butt bottom. So if I hit back, there we go. Now it's perfectly facing us. His little rumpa, his little bunda, or her. So, um, mm, but you know what? The best way to do a butt is add two spheres. Let's not beat around the bush here. So we'll add these spheres in. We'll drag them down with the gizmo. Drop them in place. Mirror. Now it's got its own mirror. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Squish them together a little bit. Otherwise, yeah, that's, we'll squish them a bit together a little bit like that. And you know what? Maybe we need to... Maybe we need to move them back and maybe we need to stretch it. And take the body. Let's go to the body now and let's move it. So I'm using the move tool on the body. Symmetry is on. And now I can sort of move this a little bit. Move the body. See how the body like kind of makes a little bit more sense now. And even the front. You can even make the bring the front in a little bit and then bring this part down. 
I'm gonna bring these in a little bit. Okay, and maybe I'll move these up a little bit. Oh, yeah, here's a good, I should make a separate tutorial. I think I'm gonna make a separate tutorial with just this. All right, so I have to start the separate tutorial now. Um, so just bear with me. What's up guys? So I wanted to show you, I wanted to make a tutorial about using a line, which is essentially using the gizmo uh, in a way that's very helpful uh, when you really need it. So for example, I have this, I'm making this little character. I have the hood, I have the body, I have this little butt here, uh, and I have these legs. So let's say for example, I just want to move the legs straight out this way. But, you know, I have this, you know, I have the gizmo, like I've moved this around. And, you know, when you move it around, it kind of like gets a little bit more wacky. So here's an easy way to move it forward. You can just hit a line. And what a line does is this aligns it with the world. And by the world, I mean like, uh, this will always be up. This is the front, so this is always up, you know, and this way is always going to be this straight line. So that's the world. Um, so right now, the orientation is based off the world. It's not based on just this little sphere. If you wanted to base it on the sphere, then you just untap a line and you do that. Uh, also, if you wanted to do something, I don't know, strange, like a little more strange, you could always hit pivot. And one thing, you have to make sure that you're not in a line. Because if you're in a line and you hit pivot, it just doesn't let you do anything. So you have to get off of pivot. So hit pivot. And let's say you wanted to bring it right to this edge. I know there's nothing there, but that's just an example. So you could take the pivot and you could say, okay, so I'm going to turn this so that the blue is facing exactly where I want it to go. And then I can hit pivot again. And then I can move it where, you know, like where I wanted it. So you can pretty much just move it where you want it. You can move the pivot and then it will move it exactly where you want it to go. Uh, but again, all I had to do was let me go back to the normal. Whoop. Yeah, there we go. So all I had to do was move it forward. So then I would just hit a line and then I can move his little legs forward and I can make him a little bigger. Um, but yeah, check out the full tutorial of this little character that's being made. Uh, I'm, this is an this is an extract of that tutorial. So now back to the real tutorial. Okay, so actually I'm not even going to stop it. I almost stopped it because I'm used to stopping when I'm done with the tutorial. So let me just stretch these out a little bit. Okay, so I think that's good. So those are the legs. The legs are good. They have their own mirror. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is the butt. So let's go ahead and take both of these and validate join children. Yes. And let's name this. Uh, boom. There we go. Boom. Let me do a quick save in case I get a crash. So now let's do um, his little, his other little feeties here. And we'll just use another sphere for that. So we use a sphere. Drop it down, come out like this. We'll make it nice and round, but maybe we'll stretch it this way, like so. Maybe we'll flatten it a little bit. Let's move it to the general location. So let's hit mirror and let's move it kind of like this. Let's put them into that. And maybe we'll bend them forward so they kind of look like Ooh, another good thing. Sorry, I know I keep getting sidetracked, but that's just how my brain works. It'd be good to give him a give him a, a surface to be sitting on. So that's really easy. We'll just go here plus, and let's do a cylinder. I don't know why I talk like that sometimes. I do. So we'll just uh, make it small. This little green thing. I think that's good. I think that's perfect. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make it even smaller. So I'm gonna tap this cylinder 
And I'm going to bring this division down. I'm going to bring it down to 24. Now it's only 170. It looks terrible, but it'll be fine. So let's validate that. And now I'm going to turn it to its side. And I'm just going to use this to sort of figure out where I actually want him to be sitting. So I think maybe like here. I think maybe something like that. Because you want him like really in. You want, him, you want the weight to really be down. You know? So for example, these, this little butt, the gizmo's all the way up here. That can be very confusing. Sometimes you're like, why is the gizmo all the way up there controlling that? I don't know, it gets weird sometimes. So just go to pivot, reset, pivot. And that helps. So let's stretch this. So we'll stretch this little butt and we'll squash it like this. That way, you know, it's more like a flat, you know what I mean? It's more like he's sitting, you know, you sit and like things get like a little, you know, you know what happens. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now the bottom of these, the bottom of these legs, um, let's validate them. Yeah, let's validate the legs and let's trim them. So we'll take trim, the trim tool. We'll make sure that it's on the side. I didn't even have you guys make sure that we're in orthographic, but make sure you're in orthographic. I got to remember to put that in the beginning. Make sure you're in orthographic. If you got this far, then I guess you already know if I put, if I actually remembered. So we're going to trim the legs. So just make sure that you're on the legs, not the feet, the legs, even though we might do the feet later. So we're on the legs, trim, rectangle. And also make sure fill holes, just in case you don't, that you don't see that. Maybe I should bring the mic closer to me. Shout out to Kadot Klo. And shout out to uh, Sketchboard Pro. This is a Sketchboard Pro, it's amazing. Shout out to Uncle Jesse. Shout out to Shane Olson, my guy. Okay, so Uncle Jesse and Shane Olson also also have uh, YouTube um, channels. They do really cool stuff in the 3D world. Shout out to Procreate FX. Okay, so let's. Okay, for the feedies. Feeds look all right. They look okay. I'm probably make them a little cuter. But maybe we'll maybe we'll flatten them. Okay, but first, you know what I want to do? Let's validate. I like them enough, so let's validate them. And let's use move. And we don't want symmetry, even though we want both of these. But okay, just a really quick. So right now, the feet and the Oh, the cylinder's inside the mirror, so let's take that out and put it on the bottom. And let's label it floor. I usually do F L R. So we'll just call that floor. So now we'll go back to the feedies. Let me let me just name this before I forget. So we've got the feedies, which look fine. But when you have something in a mirror, then just remember. Like, if you hit symmetry, then it's going to be going like this. So if you just want it to match the other side, you don't have to use symmetry. If a mesh is already in a mirror, anything you do to this side will be mirrored on the other one. So we don't want symmetry because we just want to, like, round out his little foot, you know? Like, we just want to make it nice and round. I probably could have used symmetry, honestly, but that's okay. You know what? I'm gonna bring in. Um, I'm gonna bring in this side a little bit, only because I feel like feedies usually do that. Animal feedies. That's feedies, not anything else gross. 
make them a little bit smaller. And this is where you can kind of be subjective. And you can kind of have fun with it. So maybe I'll put it in the foot a little bit more. Do I want to tilt it? It's kind of cute when it's tilted forward like that. I kind of like that. So I think that works, actually. Um, now, we have to, now we're going to put toe beans on this. Do I want to do it now? Do I want to do it now? I don't know. Let's take flatten. And let's flatten a little bit on the on the arms. Oops. Am I there? Flatten. Oh, I have such a small radius. What's up with that? So again, the arms are in a mirror, so I don't need symmetry. But I'm just going to make like a little flat area. Like that. So something like that. And then on the feeties, I'm going to do the same thing. So we'll just make like a little flat area with the flatten tool. And it's great. I'm going to take smooth and then softly, softly smooth that out. Both on the feeties and on the hand, just very softly. Just keep everything nice and smooth. You know, that's my, that's what I like. I like to keep my meshes smooth. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want a little bit more bend in this leg. So I'm going to take move. You know, okay. Uh, I know it's still in the mirror, so I don't need symmetry. So I'm going to just bend it up like this. No one ever said that I couldn't. So that's what I'm going to do. It's a little round here. See how it's a little round on the outside? So I can I can just take this and just round it out. I can come maybe come out a little bit so it's almost like that same sort of that same sort of thing. And actually, let's say the leg is like going like that. So we might be able to take like crease. And you might be able to like fake it. Oh, but you see that color? I don't know why that turns on. I don't get it. So if I do that, let's see if I smooth it, what it looks like. Oh, that's actually pretty good. It actually does make it kind of look like more of a leg. It's actually not bad. Interesting. Okay, so we have the butt. Butt looks good. I don't know if I want to bring... Do we want to bring the cheeks together? Maybe we can bring the cheeks together. Maybe we can bring this down a little bit. Maybe out a little bit. So really, that weight is really coming down as it does when you're sitting. Okay, I think that's good. Let me do a quick save. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys have snacks. So let's t let's do the toe beans, and I'm gonna try to make this uh, as simple as I can. So we're just gonna use spheres, and then we're gonna clone them and kind of place them. But it's it's not gonna be bad because we only have to do one side, and I think it'll be wonderful. So we'll use the sphere and just take your gizmo and then just put it generally into place. We'll make them small. And you know what? Let's stretch them a little bit. Let's flatten them with this blue sphere. Okay, so I'll move this in. Like so, that can be one, uh, and we can mirror it. So let's say that's one. I'll, I'll let's label this toe beans. Okay, 
So this can be one, we can clone it, and then we can move it over. Pretty simple. Actually, it's pretty good. And if you have to adjust, we might have to kind of adjust them and maybe this one is like a little bit more centered. Like that, we can clone. Maybe this one's a little smaller, maybe a little thinner. Make sure that it's nice and in it. We might have to rotate it too. It can be a little bit tricky, but you just want to rotate it and just want to make sure that it looks like it's on the surface. So you might, it might, it might take a little adjusting, but you know, that's the, that's what modeling is. Adjusting and then adjusting again. So this is a pretty good size for a pinky. So I'll clone this one and just bring it over, twist it. And see, it's a little bit like, it's a little bit funny. It actually looks really strange. What is wrong with you? I have a line on, let me take a line off. So now I can squeeze it this way. And I can squeeze it the proper ways without like, uh, sort of deforming. Cause if you, if you stretch while it's like aligned, and you run the risk of like sort of deforming your shape. Let's push this one in a little bit. I feel like these are a little bit further, further out. What's up guys, don't forget to give me a like. It really helps my channel out. I appreciate the support. Back to the video. Okay, I think that's pretty good, I think. So let's do another sphere and we'll, we can, it's in there somewhere. So we don't really need to know which one it is because they're all going to be the same color. So let's move it to the general position make sure you flatten it up. It's already in the mirror, so it should just mirror itself. I think I did the shape of the foot wrong. I think that's, I think I'm having issues with that. And you just adjust it and kind of put it in the right place and it looks beautiful. Okay, I think maybe if this was a little more true, I feel like Make this little move tool a little bit bigger. I think it'd be a little more like this. Oh yeah, I like that. I think that looks cute. See how far this is sticking out? I'm glad I saw it. I'd be upset. Let's make it a little more flat. Just make sure it's nice and even. You don't want like a rogue toe bean sticking out. That's good. So yeah, that might take some time, but it's worth it to just kind of get them right, get it right. Do a quick save since I don't feel like doing those again. And I wonder, part of me wants to just clone this and try to place them there, but I think that'll be more difficult actually, so. I'm just going to, I'm going to take these and join them. So now they're all together. And then we can add another sphere and we can just start the process again. But it'll inevitably be a little bit faster because we just did it. So we kind of, I don't have to go as slow because it's just more of the same. We'll do a little, okay, so we still want to do four there. Let's make it a little bit flatter. So let's get it nice and flat. Mm 
feel like I need to turn it. I just want to make sure that I have like room for all of them, you know? Okay, I think that works. Maybe. So let's clone. The only way to find out. So we'll clone it. This can be nice and snug here. Maybe we'll twist it a little bit. Clone. Twist it a little bit, put it in place. Clone. Put this one in place. This one's a little wonky. Well, that's good. Put it in more. Again, the hardest part is just making sure that it's flush. You have to look at it from some odd angles. Like here, you can see that this is all messed up. But that's better. Feels better. Still sticking out quite a bit. And let's move it up and move this one up a little bit and maybe a little bit more squished. Okay, so you know what? I can probably just clone this and make this the middle one. And then just go in and make sure that it's level. Maybe I'll flatten it a little bit more. There we go. That feels about right. Look at that. I'm sticking with it. So let me do a quick save. Okay, so uh, we have the arms. We have the arms and the toe beans. And you know what? All of these toe beans, let me take all of these and join them. And these are the I'm going to just call them arm. I don't know what to call them. Arm toe beans. <laughs> Send out, please. So I'm going to take these out. And give them their own mirror. So I'm going to give them their own mirror by going add and mirror. Now they have their own mirror called... I have to say it again. Arm toe beans. I apologize. And that might, it might even be three words. I'm not even sure. Okay, so these are the feet toe beans, the actual toe beans. And this mirror. The thing is, if I take the arms as well, because I might want to, part of me thinks that it might also be good, like if they're, here's another example where if I want to just move them forward, I hit a line. And I can move them straight forward. If I wanted to adjust. No, I think this is cuter. I was just trying to figure out if I wanted um, them to be more like this to the body. So that was the only thing. Which is, obviously, it's definitely possible. But... I could also put, I, I could also maybe potentially put them in the same mirror. I could do that. Ooh. Can I not grab them both? Oh yeah, there we go, we can do it. So if I wanted to have them a little bit more like inwards, just want to see what that looks like. That looks kind of cute too, though. What do we think? I don't know. That looks kind of cute too. Like, it looks a little bit more natural. Like, his hands are, like, kind of down. The other one was a little posy. Pocket full of posy. We'll stick with this. I like it. Because you see enough of the toe beans, I think they're cute. So I'm going to delete, I'm going to bring this one up because I'm lazy and because it says arms, I'm going to stick them both in here. 
and then I'm going to delete this one because we don't need it. Okay, so we have arms, toe, toe beans, and you know what? Legs. Oh, wait a minute. That might be that might be a dumb. No, actually, I think it'll be fine. We'll figure it out later. Okay, so what do we want to do next? I guess we should do his head. So first things first, the hood. Let's make a, let's make an opening for the hood. So let's. Mm, I don't want to do this. So let's go here. Multi res. Subdivide. And you can either do it by going to layer and hitting sub. We could do it this way. So that's one way to do it. And since I've started, that is just going to be the way that I do it. <laughs> oh, well. The other way is to use a mask and then just like kind of pull the shape back. But that's okay. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. So now that we did that, let's go ahead and smooth it with the smooth tool. Let's raise this up a little bit. Let's just smooth it out just so it's a little nicer to look at. Okay, I think that looks great. You can also take move and then you can sort of you can, you can sort of open this up a little bit. And just sort of like widen this out. If you, I mean, if you want, you don't really have to do anything, but I think that looks pretty good. So now the head in there is going to be his head. So let's tap on that mesh. We open the gizmo. We'll bring this forward and let's make it, let's make it big. And Perch Me wants to flatten it a little bit. Because I don't think his face is that round. So we'll flatten it and let's flatten it this way too. And we'll shove it back in there. Okay, I think that looks good. I'm going to take move and I also want to, I want to give him like, I want to make sure that this is out to kind of look like his little cheeks. And this stuff is fine. I mean, I'll pull it up a little bit, but I think that's fine. I don't mind that the hood comes up a little bit more. That's okay. And I'm just going to use flatten because I think I want to open this up a tad bit. So I'm going to make sure that I'm on the hood. I'm using flatten and symmetry. And I'm just kind of going along the edge. This might not be the smartest idea. The more I do it, the more I realize that I'm probably not going to use it. What do I want to open that up? And do I need to? These are all interesting questions. I do kind of want to. So maybe I'll use... Maybe I'll just use move and just kind of like do the old push. Make sure symmetry is on as well. Otherwise you'll mess around and have one side looking lopsided. So that looks good. Let's use move on the head and just kind of like fill in some of this space. I don't think I want to need that space there. Okay, so I'm imagining that's chubby cheeks. I'm imagining like a little chin here. So I'm just gonna pull that out a little bit. Okay. And I wanna take the hood and I think I just wanna pull it down, whoops. Pull it down a little bit. Like that, I think that works. Let me do a quick save. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking real good. So I think for this, um, 
Let's stick with the let's stick with the theme of using spheres. You guys know I love spheres. And actually, I just had an idea. If this thing would let me just move it the way I want to and not be a butt monkey, that would be great. Thank you. So, okay, so the head's a little bigger. So this is going to be one of his little snorts here. I know you're like, what did, like, what did you just say? Exactly. So I think that's good. Two little ballies, but we'll validate them and then we'll use, we can use move. And I just want to sh stretch, make it a little bit bigger. I just want to make this shape here. So I just want to stretch maybe the bottom out a little bit so we kind of have that shape. And this can actually come together a bit more like that I think that's perfect and then so this is going to be the snoot I'm going to name this snoot as well so that's the snoot so now let's go to head and the only reason I'm going to head is because when I add another sphere I don't want it to go into this mirror so now I'm just going to add another sphere, and it's below. And this is going to be a uh, low snoot. And this is going to go right below. And all we basically did was an easy way of sort of making what I have in the drawing. So maybe we'll flatten this a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. Probably flatten it that way too. Or maybe not. So something like that. We just kind of made that little shape. Simple. It's all about shapes. It's all about shapes. So I think that looks pretty good actually for what for what I want. Um, and we'll do something similar. Ooh, maybe we can use maybe we can use those for the nose. So this is the low snoot. Let's clone this and let's rename this one to nose. Is a little heart nose. Let's validate this. Low snoot is official. Let's go back to nose. Let's bring, oh, this is the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Let me just undo. Okay, low snoot. I meant the actual snoot. That's what I meant. So let's clone the actual snoot. So now we have two. This one, I like it. This, we can validate it. So that's the snoot. So now let's take the clone and bring it up. And let's make sure that we tap on snoot. That way it's a little bit easier to, to handle. So now let's see if we can just twist it. I mean, I think the nose looks pretty much exactly like that. Maybe we can bring it in a little bit more and smaller and put it right there would you look at that I mean it's not it's not bad I mean you have to you have to agree it's not it's not terrible it's not terrible I'll do a quick save Um, you know what? We can clone this for the little chin. See that? So we'll clone this. We'll rename it chin. Because why not? I think this is good. I think we can validate the low snoot. We can probably validate the chin, even though we didn't move it to where it needs to go. So let's do that before I forget. We can fatten it a little bit this way. We can move it into the fosh or the face. Sometimes I just say words funny for no reason. And let's do it down. Yeah, let's do it like that. Maybe we'll even open it up a little bit. Yeah. 
It's a little high. I think this is a little high. I think I have to bring this down. What did I just do? I think I have to bring this down. I might have to bring this down too. So that's okay. We can just take this, the chin, or not the chin, the low snoot and the snoot, and we'll just move those down a little bit. I think that's a little more accurate. So hit save, because we're looking Gucci. Okay, so now we have these eyes. And what's the best way to do that? Let's see. Let's take a layer. We could do layer, we could also do select mask. Let's try layer first. Layers, layer is a fun tool. So layer, sub, and we don't need that much intensity. If we have less intensity, then it goes less like into the face. Does that make sense? So if you have even less, it goes less into the face. But it's still very soft. So let's take this, the head, and let's um let's subdivide it. Let's see how that looks now. Still looks okay. Let's voxel remesh it. I haven't voxel remeshed anything. Okay, so this is a shortcut. The same thing as going here. Voxel. Remesh. 200. So let's remesh that. Now it's real big. But that's okay. We'll, we'll lower it later. So now you see much more detail. Let's make this a little deeper. Okay, so we have to just make the circles here. This might be better to do with the other tool, but I'm not sure just yet. Mm. Nah. Let's do it with the other tool. I want more, I want more precision. So let's do it with the mask tool, actually. Yeah, let's do it with the mask tool. So make sure that we're on the head. And let's just draw in our eyes. And the thing that's good about this is I can fix it. Alright, so I'm going to unmask, and we just need to like, we need to make sure that we need to leave enough room for those little, I call them eye dots, the little decoration in between the eyes. And so I just want to make all this a little bit smaller. Uh, that looks good, but it's too far away. They're too separated. So I'm going to open that up a little bit. I'm going to do this again, and I just want to make them a little bit closer to each other. But that's a nice, I hope my head doesn't get in frame. But that's a nice thing about using the mask, is that you can, oops. So you can edit it until it's just where you like. That looks pretty good. It's they're still a little bit too far away from each other. I feel like. And also, I'm gonna put a little bit more on the back end. That feels that feels okay. Okay, so now. Let's go to the mask options. So we'll go here, invert. So that just inverts it. So now we can take the gizmo and you can push in and boom. There's a little bit of a problem over there, but that might be okay. I'm gonna, uh, I think that's good. I think that's good. So now we can go ahead and clear. And then we have something like this. You can take smooth and you can actually just smooth this out. OK, 
Okay. I think that's all right. Okay, so now I just want to look at the size of everything and just make sure that the size and everything is good. So the only thing that I'm seeing is I want to take, let me put the chin under the snoot. So we have the head, we have the little snoot. Snoot, little snoot. Oh, that's the top part. So I'm going to move this up. So what is this? Oh, that's the nose. Duh. Let's just join these and name this this one nose. That's why I always have to label things. And I get confused. So we have the head, snoot, nose, low snoot, chin. We can take the chin off for now, but the rest of these, let's move it down a little bit. I feel like it's a little high. There we go. So we'll move it down a little bit. We'll take the chin now and move that down a little bit. But maybe the chin should be like here, right? Which means, in essence, this should be this should also be out a little bit further that makes sense which also leads to this should be like this and I actually like that it goes back like that. I actually don't mind that at all. I think that looks good. So let's do a quick save. I think it looks great. I'm gonna do a little bit more smoothing up here. I feel like it didn't really get, there we go. I want it soft. I don't need it to be too crazy yet. Oh, one thing I noticed about the mouth, let's take move, and it's only one piece, so I want to make sure that I have symmetry on, so that it acts the same on both sides. So I just want to make it so this comes down, and this comes up. Oh no, I was on the wrong shape. Symmetry, there we go. So instead of just like coming out like that, I want this to be I want that part to come up. There we go. That's what I want. I want it to be more of a shape like that. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this is all like a bit, little bit extra. I want to bring, see how it kind of is concave there? I think I want to bring this out. So I have to make sure that I'm on, do I need to be on symmetry? Um, I don't think I need to be on symmetry, but let's see. No, that's not good. Oh, that's right, we validated it, I forgot. So now I have to use symmetry because they're two different things. I just want to pull it out a little bit. Just so it's not, um, so it's a little bit flatter, you know? This I can even bring out, bring up a little bit. Okay, I like that. It doesn't need to be smaller. That's my only question. It doesn't need to be smaller. Maybe a little bit. But you know what, before we do that, let's go ahead and take this heart. And I want to bring it up so that the top is a little bit more, like less of a crease there. So I'm on the heart. Let's see. We need to, we need symmetry. Oh, but the symmetry is all messed up, isn't it? I think the symmetry is all messed up. Let's voxel. Let's just voxel merge it. I'll do it at like 150. Let's see if this fixes the symmetry. It does not. Um, 
It's okay. You know what? Just Vox will remesh it, the whole thing together. And I think it'll be fine. Actually, you know what we can use? Let's change it to Y. Oh no, the symmetry is all messed up. That's okay. Don't even worry about it. Turn symmetry off. We'll take the nose. And we'll just smooth it. I think it looks good. I actually really like it. I think it looks cute. And, you know, we might be able to flatten the nose. It would be a little bit better if, it, if I could use symmetry. So I think I might just forget about it. The only other thing that I think we might be able to do to get the symmetry back is hit gizmo uh, and then the settings and then reset. Wow. Okay, that didn't work. Bake? Let's see if bake worked. That didn't work either. So we baked it. Let's see if we can... Wait, where's move origin? How's the symmetry looking now? Still messed up. Oh well. His nose is a lost cause. But I cannot be lazy. I'll delete it. Add sphere. Actually, you know what? Let's do. Mm, mm, I have a better idea. Since I deleted it, let's make a better nose. So let's add cylinder gizmo. We'll bring it up. Hit snap. Should be on 90. And then the red ring. Snap it forward. Make it small. this stretch it a little bit mirror remove the snap and now we can transform it I think that might be a better nose something like that we can take it off a line too um, so it's a little more accurate so I think that looks nice. I think that looks great. So I think if we validate, then we take both of these and validate, join children. The symmetry should be in the middle. It is. The symmetry is in the middle. So now let's bring this huge nose down, shrink it. See, it's, I don't know which one is better. It's hard to know. I think they're both really cute. I might be partial to this one. I can also open it up, stretch it a little bit. I don't even think it needs to be stretched. I kind of just like this. Make it a little smaller. There we go. That's what I'm that's what I like. That's what I'm looking for. All right, cool. We're good. We're good to go. That looks good. If you really want to get it close to the um, drawing, you can use drag or move, and then you can you can literally just like make it a little bit wider or whatever you want to do. So that's great. It almost looks like it's sort of like his nose looks kind of like that in the drawing. Okay, way too much time. I apologize. 
I don't even think we got to making it smaller, which was the whole point. But maybe it doesn't need to be. Okay, so I'm gonna try to speed this up because I've, I've been farting around. Okay, so uh, the eyes, we're gonna use two spheres, one for the white, one for the black. So we'll add a sphere, gizmo, shrink this mirror so it's going to be something like that and then we will just slide them back into place and you know what let's sh sh uh, push it wherever you call that so we'll push it make it smaller and I just want to angle it so you're seeing a good amount of them out of the head. There we go. So something like that I think works. Or I thought it worked. Maybe we'll stretch it out a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe they don't have to be so low. So maybe they can be like here. And we can use a... We could use a sphere, but I'm going to use a... Uh, Let's call this eyes. All right, and let's use a box. So I'm gonna go to chin so I can add the box so it doesn't go in. So now we have a box and this will be like the brows. So I'm gonna go like this, make it sort of what I want, mirror it, and we'll kind of move it into place. Make it a little smaller. That's almost perfect. And then we just have to kind of angle it a little bit like the drawing. So pretty much like that. I think looks good. So now I'm just going to validate. I think that looks great. Uh, we have to use round edge. Um, if you don't have round edge, make sure you check out that video. I just posted it recently. I actually have a bunch of them, so you can look up round edge tool or smooth edge tool or you can just look in the description so what we're going to do is use round edge and we're just going to round this out and now we just have to make it a little bit bigger because we kind of shrunk it so we'll make it a little bit bigger and also let's take move And we don't need symmetry, but we need to move this. We need to move it on a little bit of an angle like that. So we're just going to pull this part out. And maybe we need to, like, just push it in. Just kind of twist it and push it in. I think that should work. So the thing for the back parts, um, you might be able to just flatten. Everything's still in a mirror, so you might be able to just flatten them. Oh, you know what would have been better for this? It's kind of dumb of me to not think of it. I should have used a cylinder. Definitely would have been better. But maybe it's too late. I don't mind using this. Let's use move and let's kind of make it, let's kind of uh, pull it up a little bit. I'll even pull it into the head a little bit. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm not really mad at that. 
they come out a little bit. I think I might just want to push. Try to make it a little bit smaller and just kind of push, push in a little bit. So I was a little aggressive. That happens. You know, you get in the moment and then you just, you just start creating and then it just gets a little aggressive. Maybe I want to flatten the bottom part though. Maybe. I usually like a good flatten. There's not much that I don't that I don't want to flatten. Flatten tool is one of my favorites. If you didn't already know. If you don't know, now you know. And I'm going to flatten a little bit more because I want to put that eyebrow underneath, or eyelash. It's actually the lash. So I'm gonna flatten a little bit more. I think that's fine. I'll just smooth everything a little bit. And here's a pro tip, use pinch. Pinch is huge. Why is it so big? Use pinch. And you can sort of like pinch this little shape and it will get it looking profesh, profesh. Pinch that little shape there and then you're in just in business. And I might want to just flatten these for fun. Flatten a little bit up there. Make that a little round up there. Why not? It's a little bit of a different shape. I think that looks good. Okay, so... So now this eye. So let's call... Let's just name this eye, eye too. Eye white. Let's rename this to eye eyes white. Because this is the white part of the eye. So we need to take eye white, clone it. Let's take it out of there and just name it uh, pupil. And let's give it its own mirror. So we'll go here, mirror. So now it has its own mirror for the pupils. Let's name this pupils as well. Let's do a quick save. So the reason why I do that is now we're on the pupils. We can use gizmo. We can move this out. Okay, it's not moving. So maybe we have to actually be on the pupil. Sometimes it likes to misbehave. So let's move that forward and let's shrink. And that should make it very easy. Maybe a tad smaller. A little bit of an adjustment there. I think that looks great. If you want to, you can kind of do a little, make them a little more flat to the to the eye. It makes sometimes it makes it a little more tricky when you're trying to even it out, but it looks. I think it looks better when they're flat to the eye. So they have to be a little closer together. Well, let's let's work on this one should work normally yes maybe a little more showing maybe a little bit smaller even i think that's i think that's perfect let's do a quick save so i think that's good i like it uh, and I also wanted to do a little trick. Oh, there's a few things that I wanted to do. So I wanted to use uh, the torus to make um, a little bit of like a rounded edge on the hood. And part of me actually wants to... Let's see. Oh. 
spread it out a little bit. Does that look better or did it look better before? I just feel like that might look a little too tight on him. I think I like that. And then I might just need to like loosen this up. It's a little bit like, doesn't really look that natural. So I'll just have to like loosen this up and make it actually fall on his, you know, Okay, that might be a little bit better. So let's try this uh, Taurus gag. So this is the hood, so let's add a Taurus. I don't, I'm not sure this is gonna, I, think, I mean, I think it could work. I just don't want it to be that difficult or tricky. Now nah, you guys will get it. I think you guys will get it. So let's make it a little bit bigger. We can tap Gizmo to bring up these other options. They're just like hidden behind Gizmo for some reason. So we tap Gizmo and then let's tap, we don't need to tap anything else. Let's use this and make it a little bit thinner. And then let's go back to our Gizmo, which is hidden. When you're in this mode, the Gizmo, you can't see it, but it's there. So now I just want, kind of want to line this up. I think that's the best I'm gonna do, I think. I just wanna, oh, let's take it off snap. I just wanna line it up with like the, the outside kind of situation. Maybe I'll even flatten it this way. Maybe that'll look better, I don't know. Maybe not that much. Maybe I need to chill out. So let's validate, and I was thinking I could turn symmetry on and then just use move to like lightly guide this into place where I wanted it. I mean, it seems like it's decent. But the weird part is I kind of want this part. So I'm gonna use drag now because drag is a little, is a little more like, maybe I don't want drag. You know, that's what, kind of what I want. I just kind of want it to look like it's connected all together. So maybe I'll put this in there. If that makes sense. I think that could work. I think I could use crease even, and even make that look a little bit better. So let's smooth this out a little bit. That's pretty much what I wanted. So now I can take this and I can probably drag this down too. So now we have a little bit more body. So what do I do now? Let's try this first. Let's take crease. Let's turn off symmetry. Let's see if we can just do a crease up the middle. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, the clay is a little too soft, so let's voxel remesh it at 200. I'm gonna do a quick save first. And let's voxel remesh it at 200. Now the crease should be a little bit better. I know it's a little hard to see because of that thing, but let's turn it off. So now the crease is a little bit better. So 
So let's take the head and let's move it down a bit. So the head, snoot, all this, what is this? That's the nose that comes down too, what's this? All these things that I always say that I need to label and I forget to label them. What is this? That's the rim. I think that's it. So let's move all this stuff down. Did we forget anything? No. Okay, I think that looks good. So now we can take the head and we can actually move the head up a little bit. Let's take the hood and hide it, and let's take this and also hide it. So now we just have access to his head. Oh my god, how did his head get like that? That's so sad. That is so sad. I didn't mean to do that to his poor head. It's a rough business. Look at this guy's head. So we'll make this a little more round up here. Let's bring this stuff back. I can't, I can't bear it any longer. Okay, it looks good. Let's take the torus and just move it out a little bit. Oh, symmetry. Okay, let's move this straight up a little bit. So I think that's good. So I'm gonna actually move the hood until it's like lined up with that. I think that's the better thing to do. Let's take move and let's see if we can move these cheeks out. Whoops. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, cool. So let's um, let's do a quick save. And now let's make these little things. And these will be easy. We'll just use... Um, let's see if we can guess. So we'll mirror. We'll move them out. Flatten them a little bit. And, you know, we can actually, we can make them a little bit pointy. I think this is a good depth. I think that's a decent depth. I'm going to validate them because I want to use move. And I want to... Okay, they're in the mirror. Let's go ahead and rename these. Hood. Actually, we don't have to call it hood. We can just call them ears because you can't see his ears. So I just want to stretch this so it's a little pointy. So I think something like that works well. And now we just kind of have to match the drawing. I think that works. Maybe this is like a little bit curved back. Oh, I think that's perfect. I like it. A little bit further back on the hood, maybe. Twist it back a little bit. further out okay I like that I buy that do a quick save okay so now we have that space in the middle I think layer might be good for this although it's not a real ear you know what yeah we'll just do something like this so we'll just use layer oh yeah layer is perfect for this we don't even have to remesh it. I don't think. 
So hopefully we can smooth it and you still have a little bit of that depression. That's exactly what I wanted, that's perfect. Now for this, we can use spheres. So these are the ears, I'm gonna go ahead and validate these. So now we have ears and these are gonna be the ear puffs. We'll just use little spheres for that. So we'll use the gizmo and we'll just sort of do what we always do. But I wanna do it a certain way. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mirror this one. Actually, no, I'm not gonna mirror them yet. I'm just gonna validate this one and I wanna use move. And I wanna drag this part so we get like a nice round on that side to like not round or even push it a little bit like that I think that's perfect so now I want to move this into place so this is the smaller one we might need a line nope didn't help didn't help this time Okay, we don't need it, so I'm going to move this in. Okay, so this is the first one. That's the first one, that's the smaller one. Let's clone. This is the bigger one. So we'll just sort of move it into place. Maybe this one can be a tad bit smaller. This one can kind of move in a little bit. I think that works. But I, just, I do want to like kind of open this up a little bit so it's just round on the on the outside or like our, not round, but a little bit wider on the outside as the drawing is. And I'll use this one to clone and move that down. And that can be this other little small one. Turn that, push it into place. I can't really get it to twist the way I want. It's being a butt monkey. There we go, that's better. So that's a little bit more what I want. I just wanted something like this. It's a little big, but I'm gonna take drag and now I'm just gonna sort of just make them a little more perfect the way I want them before I mirror the whole thing. Okay, I think that's good. So I'll take these three spheres, I think that's all of them, join, and I'll rename them Ear Puffs. And I think I want to make them a little bit smaller in this space. Whoop. Excuse me. Okay, I think that's perfect. So I'm going to take those and... Ooh. No, we'll just go like this. Plus, mirror, done. Jo uh, validate, join children, and then we'll rename it Ear Puffs. There we go. These little ones are kind of easy. Those are similar to what we just made. So we'll just add a sphere, gizmo, Make it small, mirror. So they're kind of small. Maybe we'll make them like up here. A little bit 
bit smaller. So we can validate them and then use move. Actually, let's stretch them first. And then we'll use move and we'll just kind of like widen out the bottom. And then kind of push in the direction that I want them to go. That's how I that's how I sculpt stuff like this. It's like a push and pull game that you kind of get better at the more you do. But I actually enjoy it. So there we go, something like that. You can move them down. You can make them a little more squat if you want. little bit make that feels right so we'll do a little save savey poo uh, now I wanted to do this little eyelash so we'll use the tube tool path and snap snap will just keep it from going away from the mesh, snaps it to the mesh. Shout out to Han. First one told me, tell me about the snap. I couldn't figure it out when I first started. So I'm gonna start here. Pencil comes up, pencil comes down, slide, up, down, slide, up, and so on and so forth. <laughs> and we'll make it come out a little bit here. So that's pretty good. We'll hit the green. Oh, it's mirrored. That means it's in a mirror, which I'm going to take it out of. And this is going to be lashy, or eyelash. You don't have to name it. It's weird names that I come up with. Okay, that looks great. So we'll tap radius. We'll make this side big and this side small. We'll give it a nice spline that makes it nice and curvy. So this, I think I want to go inside the mesh, but to do that, we have to take it off of snap. Otherwise it'll just stay on the surface. So I wanted something like that. I think that's good. I'm just bringing this off of the eye a little bit. Well, I might not need this many. So we'll do something like that. I think it's good. And you know what? I never actually did this, but maybe I can do this and then, ooh. Do radius and then make this smaller. Might help my cause out a little bit. So now let's mirror it. And if we're happy, almost happy, I just want it to be a little bit more round. What am I seeing? Oh, that's what I did. I pulled it, I think, away from the eye a little bit too much. But I like it, so I'm going to validate it. I think it looks okay. I want to smooth this out, though, so make sure that you smooth this. And I want to flatten it. What a nice flat. Yeah, that's what I want. You don't really have to flatten the front part, but sometimes I just get carried away. Yeah, I think I just want something like that. And feel free to kind of flatten, like if you don't want it that long, you can just kind of flatten it up a little bit. 
and smooth. Because I get crazy with, with eyelashes. Sometimes I add a little bit too much. But that's better. That's a little more on par with the, uh, the art. All right, let's get a little artsy with it. Let's take the face and flatten. And let's go ahead and like, let's just add like a nice flat plane there. It's nice. Do we need one from the bottom? We might not, but let's do one anyway and see how it looks. So a nice flat plane. You can smooth it a little bit. I just think that makes for a great look. I kind of don't like this. I kind of want the cheek to be a little bit more puffy there. So I'm going to do that. I like that a little bit better. I like it. This might be might need to be a little bit smaller. Still looks good, just a little bit smaller. Maybe perhaps a little bit wider. Here we go. And I think I want to add another tube tool. Should I use tube or lathe? I never actually tried to use lathe this. No, maybe just tube. All right, so let's do path. I kind of just want to come like this. I think I want something like that to be mirrored. Let's do radius again because, um, oh, let's do radius again. So I want this to be a little bit wide. I want the lip to be fairly big. Let's see how this looks. Let's just go ahead and validate and see how that looks. And uh, for this tube, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna validate joint children. And I'm gonna voxel remesh it together. So let's just voxel. We'll remesh it at like 150. So now it's one piece and I'm just gonna smooth it. Oop, I'm going to turn symmetry on first, and then I'm going to smooth it. And just see how this worked for what I wanted to. Um, I might not really need it. Let's take flatten. Maybe I can, like, maybe I can save it. If I just flatten it. I don't mind that it's there, but I think this is a, it's a little too much. So let's see if I smooth it again. I don't mind that. But I'm, mm, I might have a better idea though. So I have a better idea, I'm sorry, I apologize. But only a little bit because this is the nose. Let's call this nose before I'm forgetting. And where is the, where's this? Oh, that's the, let's take both of these, validate them, join children. This will be the horns. These are the lashes, so we can validate and call them lashes. Take as much time as you need. I'm just kind of, you know, obviously just so uh, we can validate these. This, these are the eye, eyebrows, eye, eyelids. I don't know, eyelids. We'll call them eyelids. Pupils. Okay, everything else is good. Quick save. So my big 
idea. Let's go over the snoot. It was to add a torus. Don't know if it's going to work. But maybe we can do very similar to similar to how we did the um I think it already works a lot better actually. It already looks pretty good. And push it in a little bit further we can validate it and then we can take move the symmetry on and then we can kind of just I think we can do that and then maybe we can like smooth off the sides Or even like flatten. Could even flatten them. That might be a little too aggressive. A little too aggressive. That's okay. I think that looks great actually. That looks pretty good. It's a little big, so I might just... Smooth the whole thing out. Okay, I kind of like it, but there's something that I don't like about it. I'm not sure what exactly. It could honestly be the, it could, it could be this. It could just be these. No, actually, this needs to be more. What if I need to flatten there? a little bit oh I love it I think I'm good with that I think I'm pretty good with that so you know what let's take I want to trim this uh, this torus so let me tap the torus and then trim it with the, with the uh, rectangle And just before we move on, I want to see if I can like drag this and just see if that looks good or bad. Yeah, it looks bad. That looks good. All right, so let's take the nose clone and we'll name this one I dots. We'll move this up and over. And let me use drag and kind of make this a little different. I don't know if that'll work. Let's see. Pivot, reset, pivot. Make sure that's in the middle. And I kind of want to just... Might have to make a new one. Oh, 
yeah, I think maybe just, uh, I like the hearts, but... I think I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. And I think I need some trusty old spheres. Make sure I'm still recording, I am. I get nervous when I don't... I don't look at my phone for a long time because... Honestly, you just never know. Sometimes it could, this thing will just stop recording. So I'm going to mirror it, validate it, and then I'm going to use move to sort of make a uh, shape that I like. So I think I want it to taper. Just like that. I think that's great. It might be a little too big. But maybe the smooth tool can just kind of mitigate that a little bit. We can also kind of adjust it. Okay, I think that looks good. Oh my god, I need to go to bed. So before I go to bed, I think I'm going to make this a... Oh, what is this? So this is the eye dots. So we'll validate that. We'll call this eye dots. We'll add a new sphere. I'm going to validate it because this is just going to be the bell. Then we'll use our gizmo and bring it down like this. And then let's actually take a... Let's move this into position first. Okay, so now there's a little piece there. We can take this, and we just need to kind of skinny this up here. Like that. Move this up. And let's take a box and just make a little piece, like a little connector piece. So let's validate it, make it real small. Oh. Okay, that's good. I'm going to round edge it. even decimate it. So I'm going to go here, decimate, 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 and then just do round edge again. And I'm just going to add this as a little connector piece. Oop. Like so. Okay, good. Let me give this a little little crease. A little crease action. God, it's so messy. Such a messy crease. Okay. It's good. So I'm going to finish tomorrow. I'll be back. Oh, well, it's going to be the same video. It'll be like a second to you. So, all right, there is there is one other little thing that I forgot which is this little piece right here. So let's just add that in. So we'll add, and I think we'll just use a sphere, a sphere. So we'll make it smaller. And, well, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's flatten it a little bit this way. 
And now let's kind of slide it up into that general area that I want it. Sort of like that, and then we can validate it. And then we can just use move with symmetry. And we can kind of move it into place. And let's just smooth it, get it nice and smooth. It look nice and natural and we can actually maybe we can just use move and just kind of make it a little more flat to the to his little head here whoops I'll make sure I stay where I'm supposed to be there we go I think I like that I think I'm happy with that so now we can change from matte cap to lit PBR. So we'll just go here, matte cap, lit PBR. And I like to change everything to a matte white instead of a shiny white. So I just go here, bring this to white, put the roughness to about six or so. Uh, and I always forget to do this first, go to your scene and highlight everything. So you can just drag down um, you don't need to do the pupils, but everything else. And then just go back here to the color, roughness, and then just hit paint all. And now it's a, it's a better looking white, but I'm still missing. How did I miss that stuff? Oh, I have all these other layers too. Duh. It's like a day and a half later, so I'm jumping right back into it. So here are the pupils. So let's go ahead and validate those. Pupils, eye whites, they look good, so let's validate. Eye white, hood, arms, and the toe beans. Uh, let's take the arms out and give them their own mask. So we'll just add our mirror, add their own mirror, excuse me. We can name this arms. And we'll name this one toe beans or arm beans, hand beans. Here we go again, so we'll validate this, they look good. We'll validate this, the arms, they look good. Well, these are the toe beans, so we'll validate these. Those are the toe beans. Bum, feeties, we'll validate those. And then legs, we can validate those. Now everything is there, everything's together. What is this box? Oh, that goes to the bell. Okay, so we'll just we'll just join these for now, the bell. So now we'll just go through and make sure everything is titled. So this is the hood trim. Okay. Body, arm beans, toe beans. So these will be the same colors. So I'm gonna make sure I choose toe beans second. So we have arm beans and toe beans. I'm just gonna join them together because they're gonna be the same color. Okay, the arms. So the feeties and the legs, they're also gonna be the same color. So we can join those. So now we have legs. Let's see, I think everything else might be different colors. Pupils, eyelids, eye white. Put the eye white over the pupils. So everything else looks pretty good. Now this is supposed to be like a like a coat, like a jacket. So hmm. We have this little butt there. So what do we do? What do we do? I think the 
I think maybe we'll just add a cylinder around the, or maybe a cone around the arms. That might be good. So we'll add maybe a cone around the arms and then a, a torus around the body. So let's add a torus. Let's move it down, shrink it, move it back some. So we can add this around the body. Maybe we'll shrink it some more. And I don't mind that it goes like in front of the legs. I think that looks good. So we'll validate this. We'll call it um, waist trim. And we'll put that under the body, or maybe we'll put it under the hood. Maybe we'll make it the same color as that. But we also need something for the arms. See, he has a little coat here. So let's use, let's add a, um, let's add a cylinder. So we'll move it down, we'll move it over, we'll shrink it. We'll tap gizmo, we'll tap radius. Let's make this side shorter. So maybe something like that will work as a little sleeve. We'll mirror it. And then we'll just go back to our gizmo here and we will just try to make it look like he has like a little sleeve. So let's see what we can do. That looks pretty good. bit bigger. Oh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I think I like it. So I'm going to validate that. And if I, if you want, you can just use move and you can kind of pull it so that it fits uh, just perfectly. Give it a little bit more room. I think that looks good. And if we really want to go crazy, so let's go ahead and validate this. And let's name this uh, sleeves. And if we really want to go crazy, we can add another torus. And go down and over. We can make it really small. We can tilt it. And then you can sort of line it up. You can sort of line it up with that. Maybe make it a little smaller even. And sort of line it up. Oh, I forgot to mirror. Mirror it and then validate and then you can do the same thing if you need to kind of adjust it a little bit. You can just sort of adjust it. And then you have yourself a little, little sleeve. So then he has like a proper little coat on. Okay. So now that he has a coat on, I want this to be uh, his part of his body. So let's go to the body. We'll use uh, split. Let's use split. And we'll use the rectangle. And we just want to split in between here. Oh, actually, let's make sure that we are straight. Now we'll use the rectangle and we'll just split. So now this is one half. So we have this body part. So we can take that, the bum, and maybe 
see the legs. The legs. The legs, and we can voxel remesh them together. So we'll go here, voxel remesh around 200. Actually, we can probably go a little bit higher to 250. So we'll remesh them together. Now I'll just take smooth, and just kind of smooth them. Smooth all of this, since now it's just one piece. Looks good. Oh, I didn't have symmetry on, so I need to undo all of that. Symmetry sometimes can be my worst enemy. Turn symmetry on, and then do the same thing, just kind of smooth all that out. Okay. All right, so let's take this mirror and let's validate it. And this is the sleeve trim. So we have all these trims that can be the same color, sleeve trim, waist trim, and hood trim. Okay. I think he also might need a little like tail, right? Let's just add another sphere in here. Validate it. And maybe we can just, let's turn symmetry on. Maybe we can just kind of drag it. smooth this just want it to be a nice like little round tail so maybe we can do like a little crease action I didn't see anything let's go back to let's go up here and go back to Metcalf kind of see what's going on. Mm. Let's see. Maybe we'll just flatten it. Let's try move instead. Maybe I want like a more grand little tail, or maybe we want a small tail, a little nugget tail. Maybe that's a little bit better. Let's round it out maybe. I'll kind of bring it into the floor a little bit. Maybe we'll give it a nice little inflate. Let's see what that looks like. I guess it just looks weird. I think it looks good. Kind of like it. 
I feel like he needs a little tail. So let's uh, let's just trim it. Let's move it down a little bit so it's like nice and flush with the floor. And then let's trim it. Like so. So if we hide the floor, it looks like this. So we'll just kind of smooth. Oop. It's a little soft. Let's voxel remesh it at 200. So we'll voxel remesh it. We'll take rounded edge and just kind of round that out a little bit. Ooh, the butt, this needs to be trimmed too. So let's trim that as well. Ooh, the feet got trimmed. Interesting. Well, I think it's because I joined them together. Um, let's take the feet and let's just move them up. Let's just push them up a little bit. I don't want them to get trimmed that much. So now let's trim the bottom again. So we'll trim there. Maybe we'll even just trim a little bit here too. I'm okay with that. And then we'll go ahead and uh, voxel remesh them. 250 is good. I'll just smooth this out on the bottom just to keep it nice and clean. Okay, good. So now we'll just bring back the floor. Looks good. I think that's all a little weird, but you know what? We'll just use a uh, move and we'll just bring this down. So we'll just bring that down a little bit. Smooth that a little bit in there. And actually we can kind of smooth this a little bit too, since now they're one piece. Okay, good. So now we have the body, which we can, so we have the sleeves. Body, the sleeves, and the hood. So the body and the sleeves, let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, let's voxel remesh them. 200. No, voxel merge them. So we'll voxel merge them at 200. Oh, symmetry on, and we can kind of smooth out this little crease here. Okay, that's good. We can probably join these two trims. So the waist trim and the sleeve trim. Let's join. So then we have the hood and the jacket. What is this sphere? I don't even know what this is. What is that? Oh, that's the tail. Okay, that's why I couldn't see it. Let's rename that tail. Do a quick save. We can probably join the tail with the body or the legs. Tail, legs, let's join them together. 
legs, arms. Let's join that. Okay, so everything else looks pretty good. It looks great. So I think I'm I think I'm okay with all of the all the little pieces I think look good. We can probably join that lower lip and the eye the lashes and is that a Taurus? Yeah. So let's join these together. These can both be really dark. The nose too, but I'll do it separate. So let's take the face and this little chin. Where's the other little? Here's the chin. Let's voxel remesh that. 220 should be fine. We'll smooth that out. And actually, let's also voxel remesh in the snoot. Although we might want to make that a different color. Here, let's not, because we might make that a different color. I'm not sure yet. I'm not certain. But anyway, so I think we need to start decimating this. So we need to start making the size a little bit less on everything, pretty much. So I want to try to get this under 500K. So we go here, we go to Desi, and let's just decimate. We don't really want to change in the quality. I'm starting to see a little bit of a change already. So another trick that we can do, for example, for this, for the hood trim, let me do a quick save. So we can voxel remesh it really high and like 400. And then we can use rounded edge We can do rounded edge a bunch of times to kind of smooth that out. And then hopefully when we decimate now, we can get it down lower and it'll maintain. Let me get rid of the symmetry line so I can kind of see this a little bit better. So let's just decimate. Okay, that's better. That's not bad, but I'm going to back up one step. I think that's good. So now we have the hood. So let's see how much we can decimate. Let's back up one. I think that's good. So now let's do the same thing. I'll just do the same thing with all of them. The ears, the hood ears, decimate. one. No, that's too much. I think that's fine. I'll back up one. We'll take the ear puffs. We'll decimate these guys down. Okay. Bring these guys down. Seven twenty two is good. Let's make sure we name this. So this is hair. We'll just call it hair oh, or hate hair, either or. So we'll bring this down maybe two notches, maybe even three, even better. So all of this stuff we can decimate and just bring it down and just save ourselves some space. Now this, 
I did want to maybe, yeah, you know what I want to do with this? I want to take the head or the chin, because now I, and I want to do the eyelids. The chin and the eyelids, I think I wanted to do. And maybe the snoot. Let's do the snoot. And maybe the lower, maybe the lower one too. Maybe we'll just voxel remesh all this together at like 300. And just live dangerously. Now we can smooth this out really nicely all together. And it'll look more natural that way, especially this part. I think that was a good decision and the bottom, so it's gonna look a lot more natural as part of the face. I think that was a good decision. So now let's rename this head. And we have to decimate it because it's very huge. So we wanna decimate. Hopefully we can get it down to a good number. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that number. Maybe I just want to smooth the top a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, nice. I am seeing some space in there. I don't even know what that is. But whatever it is, let's move it up. So that way, whatever that is, it's connected to the, oh, that's the sleeve. Those are the sleeves. Okay, interesting. So maybe I'll undo that. Maybe we'll take the head, maybe we'll move it down. Yeah, that's better. That makes more sense. Okay, toe beans, 122K. That's insane. Decimate. <laughs> They're just toe beans. I'll back up one. I'll give them, I'll give them that much. What about this side? I feel like I might have already decimated those. The arms, jeez. Actually, I think arms are arms and legs and stuff now. So let's decimate. Whoop. Back up a step. It's still a lot. But I'm okay with it. I'll leave it there. So now we have the Tauruses. Let's decimate those. 2,000 is good. Did we do this? Here's the sleeves. We'll decimate those. Not too worried about this part. Let's see. Let's smooth this a little bit back here. Yeah. Not too worried about that. Even these little details, I'll probably just decimate a little bit more. This little nose, we can even decimate. Oh, nose is looking crazy. Tell you what, let's voxel, let's remesh it. Let's remesh this little nose real high, and then we'll do a rounded edge. super rounded edge, and then we'll decimate it. I think we'll be able to get it down. It won't be able to be so annoying. Yeah, now we got it down to 583. 
much better. Okay, the eyes. I don't want to go too much on the eyes because then they start looking like real crazy. Same thing with the pupils. You got to be really careful with spheres because they start looking real crazy real quick. You want them to be nice and round. 51K is decent. Just checking everything, see if there's anything I missed, like this little detail. This doesn't need much. Tail, I forgot. V. I might be able to decimate the tail a little bit more, so I'll separate them. Find the tail. And maybe I'll just decimate that separately. Oh, I think I did it. I think I did it right. Okay. So now I'll select all of these and just join them back up. This will be the body. Okay, so now it's 44.6. I think it looks great. We can go back to lit PBR. Where it's looking very nice. I'm going to save. And we'll do some quick lights on him. So if you didn't already, grab my environment, uh, or you can just use any environment, but this is the one that I'm using. That's the one I always use. So let's go to front. So we're here, let's just turn this off and add our first light. Ooh, and I can see that some things aren't like I like them to be. Rough, not rough, matte white. I love that, I think it looks great. So let's call this light key. So this is our first light here. It's the key. It's the same thing. This is a little panel. We can raise the resolution, the intensity to maybe like 1.5 or so, 1.6. This is not mad. There we go. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Sometimes I like to, I go to this light, go here and change the shadow to soft. I, I love a nice soft shadow. Okay, so let's add another light. And we'll bring this light over here. And then we'll turn it towards him. Like this. And this will be the fill light. So let's turn it down. Like this. You can do soft shadows again if you want. And I'll go back in here and just name this fill. So we'll add another light. And this will be an edge light. So this will be like a rim light. So it goes back. And points this way. Let's change it into a spotlight. Let's move it over. So this essentially is going to point pretty much like this, so it's hitting like one side. Again, this is not matte. There we go. I don't know what I turned matte, but obviously not everything. Let's go back to the lights. You can do light icons so you can see them all too. So that looks good. Let's take the little orange thing, the little orange dot, and just make it a little wider. And that's the same thing if we were to go in here and just uh, do the cone angle. It's the same thing. So let's look at it in the front. Did we get our position yet? No, we didn't. So let's position him in the front, like a nice, uh, a nice pose in the front. Let's go here. 
Let's change it from orthographic to perspective. And you can adjust this as you wish. I usually have it at like 11, 10, 11, or 12. And let's hit add view. Let's change this to one. So now we have a view. So if we mess it up, we can go right back to our view. So we were on this light, which is the edge light. So let's change the name here. Edge. So you can kind of see it. As you move it out, you'll see it a little bit more. Up. Depends on, you know, where you want to put it. I think I like up high. So just adjust it. You can raise the intensity a little bit. Let's make this matte too. Okay. So that looks good. Now we can see it along the edge. And lastly, I like to add another light, spotlight. And let's just call it top down. So this one I move up. And I just point it right down from above. Right in the middle. Just pump it up a little bit. I like to change the color to cool. Like so. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So now I like to, there's a few things I like to do. Turn on post process so you can kind of see it. You can turn off depth of field. So this is more of an accurate rep representation of what the render will look like. So that's this. I'm going to turn off the light icons because they're a little bit in the way. So I think that looks really nice. I think it looks good. All right. So the last thing, um, and you can turn you can turn post process off. I'm just going to leave it on, um, but it does use up. It consumes more power. <clears throat> I have an M1, so it's actually not too bad. But uh, you can feel free to turn this off and turn this down if you if you have some issues. But I'll leave it on. So you can color this pretty much how you want. I don't think I'm going to go through coloring. I think I want you to color it how you like it. But the one thing that I like to do is change things to subsurface. So you go here to materials and subsurface. I, I usually have it maybe. So I'll just go through and just change most of these to subsurface. I just think it looks a lot better. I usually try to bring it down to like around 0.1. And also another thing that might help you, if you take all of these, And then you change the color to like a terracotta type color. Wait, why is it not changing? <clears throat> why are we not changing? Oh, that's right, we're still on white. I do like to work in like a terracotta type color. I think it looks very cool. And it's a little better with the lights. For example, see now the blue, I can sort of Boost it up a little bit more. And it looks a little bit nicer. And maybe the edge. Maybe I'll make a little bit more warm. Boost it a little bit. But again, I like to use do subsurface. I'll turn it down to maybe like 0.1. Uh, I usually don't do the eyebrows or the eyelashes and stuff. The nose maybe can benefit from it. Tone it down. I'll do these little pieces too. And I'll do all the toe beans as well. I think I did the arms. Did I do the arms? I didn't. So we'll do the arms and we'll tone that down to like 0 0.1, 0 0.1 or so.
We do the trims? No. Okay, so once you have everything subsurface, the only other thing is you can take the eyes and you can change it to glossy and the pupils too. So we'll change that to glossy. And just for now, so mine will look nice, I'm gonna take the color that I was using. I'm gonna make it a little darker. And I'll make this a little darker. But we want rough, we want rough for that. So a little bit dark, but rough. The nose, I'll just tint a little bit, and maybe a little less rough. And maybe the hair too, it's a little darker. And the toe beans can be darker or lighter. So yeah, there's lots of options. The ears, maybe I'll make a little bit darker. Let me grab the color first. So yeah, even something like this I think looks really cool. So let's turn this off and I'm gonna update this. I'm gonna add a new view. And then to color everything, again, you would just press here and then you could just find the color that you want. So that's really easy. So you can make it whatever color you want. I might make, my, I might make mine a panda bear, we'll see. But anyway, I feel like it looks green after I do that. But yeah, I think that's it. I'm not gonna color it. I wanna see what you guys color it. So whatever you do, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, this is the final product. I hope you like it. And if I can get this thing out of here. There we go. Can't wait to see what you guys do. Let me adjust the lighting. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Be sure to tag me so I can definitely see what your little bears look like. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out, really helps my channel out. Definitely check out my Skillshare classes. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video. And one more thing. I'm happy to let you know that I now have a standalone course, a course that you can buy all on its own at Udemy. Uh, this is my first Udemy class, so I would love the support if you want to pick up a Nomad Sculpt class, beginner class, uh, without a subscription, then you can definitely buy my class on Udemy. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video.